Here we go. I was just talking to everyone and I had my microphone turned off. How amazing is that? Hey Craig. Hey Patton. Hey Jack. How's it going? How is everybody this evening? Uh, we I've done the animals already. I thought I'd get on and just get them done so that we didn't have to sit through all that again. I'm going to try and do some Silage. That's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, I don't want that, do I? That's no good for silage at all. Yep, I got the email, Jack. Thank you very much. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, though. Well, I've looked at the email, but I haven't had a chance to look at the trailer. No problem, Craig. I had a quick look at a couple of your videos. Um, you've got some lag issues, buddy, on your recording. I don't know. I don't know whether it's um, whether it's game related or recording related. Uh, only you'd be able to tell me that. So, I'm presuming. The, the one that I watched was a multiplayer so that could be could be the issue with that Craig but yeah um, they look good got some interesting things going on nice and short videos which get, keep people keep people interested which is key when you're starting out um, yes Jack I know yeah it's the link for the trailer I've not had a chance to download it yet buddy but I will I will. I, as soon as I get a minute to do that, I will get straight on it. But I have seen the email. So it's in game lag. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Um, how can we overcome that? Um, Resolution, you could try changing the resolution, would help a little bit. Oh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, that's it. Yes, hey, Farm Sim, how are you doing? How's your fence? Yeah, yeah, it, it's more than likely um, hardware issues and need, things need upgrading and stuff, Craig. Um, but there are there are some things that you can do to try and improve it. Uh, but it, it is it is tricky. It is tricky. Cummins Power. Awesome. Welcome to the stream.
Hammond's power it is probably one of the best powers there is. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Cummins. It's definitely Cummins. I only watched a couple, Craig, but I'll, I'll try and watch some more and see if I can get up to speed with things. You go get those cows, dude. You go get those cows. They need they need the milk taken out of them. I was going to say something else then, and I thought it was a little bit in, inappropriate. <laughs> they need milking, dude. They need milking. Yeah, logs, logs aren't very good. I, I backed over one. With back, with, did I back over it? Yeah, I did. I, when I was turning, I backed over one with, uh, with our batwing mower. And fortunately, I had it up. And it uh, it just caught the top of it. It was an old telegraph pole. That's what it was in in the bush. And yeah, it just caught the top of it. Just just shaved the top of it off. You don't want to put pitchforks through choppers. It, I, well, to be fair, a pitchfork would probably just go straight through it because it's it's. Like matchstick in it, but yeah. YouTube Shorts. Okay, let's talk about YouTube Shorts. So, YouTube Shorts are a hit and miss, actually. Uh, the what I found the best for gaming channels with YouTube Shorts is if you try and use them as an advert for your channel is the best thing to do. Try and do a little video that is a kind of advert that would draw people in to come and look at your other stuff because Shorts for a gaming channel don't really work. Um, but what they do is you, you can you could do 30 of them and they'd get like 30 views and then do the 31st one and it would get it could potentially get 20,000 views what that does for your channel actually isn't much because the the viewing time and the views themselves don't actually go to any of your watched hours or anything like that unless they watch the short off of a PC well shorts are designed for mobile and tablets uh, and they're for people when they're out on the run and they just watch a few little shorts and stuff and when they watch them on a mobile it doesn't count to anything for your channel unfortunately but it is a way of interacting with people and trying to draw them in which is why I was you know, saying the best thing to do is try and make it an advert to suck them in to come and look at your other content. That's the, that's the best way to use a short for a gaming channel. Um, for, uh, for other types of channels, then it, you know, it's, uh, it depends on what you're doing. The, the idea is that they're going to monetize shorts at some point. I think they have actually been monetized in the States and India, or they're trialing it in the States and India. 
so I don't know. Yeah, any ideas are welcome, Pattern. If you've got an idea, you you know what Pattern. You've watched all of my shorts, I think, haven't you? You know what you know what I do with my shorts. They're, they're silly. My shorts are. It's all it's all in jest. It's all tongue in cheek. Especially um, David Borough of Atten. I need to do another one of those actually, just for the giggles. So farm sim, I was just reading back through your comments, I was missing them. You, you've not had a particularly uh, good day with machinery then, really, by the looks of it. <laughs> what, um... What mower have you got? Have I missed that? Yeah, what mower have you got, farm sim? What type of mower is it? I would love to do a preview of your next mod pattern. I'll do anything for you, buddy. I owe you for all the help that you've given me with with things. So whatever you want. I can even send you the raw video if you want to put it on your own channel as well, Pat. If that's if you want not the raw video, but the the, the rendered video, I could send it to you, and you could put it on your own channel if you wanted to do that as well. Okay, but no worries. Used to have a big M, but you've got an ITC. Cool. Oh, Patton, you're you're a, you're a sucker for for the, for these as well. Um, who who watches um, the Grassman? Does anybody watch the Grassman? Did anybody see their new video that came out today? I am on the standard Geo, Jason. It's just the standard one. There's nothing nothing fancy.
I watched um, Grassman's new video that came out today. They uh, they were in Wales, and they were at. I don't know if it was a show. It's, the way they were talking, they were as a, they were at a show. But um, this, uh, they were talking to a dealer, a well, a Welsh dealer, and they had they've just got Chrome in. But they're also a McCormick dealer, and they had the new X7 there. Oh my God! <laughs> it looks amazing. The new McCormick. I'm sure it was the X7. No, X7 or was it X6? Oh, I can't remember. But they've done it in a darker red, like the original, the original McCormicks and and the early Farmers. Oh man. I was down with that. I was down with that. Yeah, I've got it set up like this, Craig, because when when you turn the sharp corners, you always get that little triangle that it misses between when you've got it on the front. And if you put them on the back like this, it it doesn't doesn't miss it. Is this grass ready? It's as ready as it's ever going to be. It's going to get cut because we want the silage. I don't want the lights on, you fool. Yeah, it's just weird how it misses when you when you turn, it'll miss that little tiny triangle, and when you when you've got them on the back like that, it, it doesn't. It's, uh, that's why I do it. It saves me going backwards just to get that tiny little bit. Not all of them actually do this, though, do they? Not all of them have the. You haven't watched the Agco one, that was the first one, the Agco one, what happened? Um, so the Agco one, it doesn't actually cover Alice Chalmers. It um, it just starts from when Agco bought out Deutz Alice. Um, because because it's it's quite a, a big story and if you i I don't know if anybody's watched the, the CNH one, I've broken it down into separate sections with the CNH one. And really, I kind of should have done that with the Agco one, but I can still go back. So what I could do is I could do a I'm, well. This is what I'm planning on doing: is doing a load of shorter videos of the history up until the point when they were bought by Agco, if that makes sense. So we do Alice Chalmers all the way up to when they were bought in 1990 by Agco, or turned into Agco, I should say. Um, and then Massey Ferguson, their history all the way up to when they were bought by Agco, same with Fent, and, and just break it down like that. The trouble is, so, so many of these companies bounce backwards and forwards from different um, different groups. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not complicated, it, it just gets confusing if you're, if you're not up, up to scratch with it all. And it's just been trying to... Um, Trying to balance it out so that it they all flow nicely. It's good fun now. I love doing it. I, lo I love all that history stuff and, and things like that. There.
Well, yeah, early early Anchor history. That's basically the 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 series is basically about the first ten years of Anchor. Um, because that is when it all happened, really. When when they kind of just went on this massive blowout, really, of just buying up stuff. And they did the right thing. They, it was he he was on point. He was on point with his plans and everything. Risky, risky what they did. Evening Joe, how are you today? Just go down Halfords Farm Sim and buy Buy a GPS from there, it'd be fine. <laughs> These GPS systems are not cheap. They're not cheap. I'm like a sponge, Craig. It goes in and it and it just stays there. You could you couldn't even squeeze it out. <laughs> it just stays. I just soak it all up. But it's only for the stuff that I'm interested in. I do a heck of a lot of research on everything that I want to do. Like with with doing these videos. The amount of research that I put into doing these it's just ridiculous. A chow mein is always good, Joe. What's not to love about a, a chow mein? Is it chicken? Is it chicken chow mein? Or is it... Um, they do. What else do they do? Ch chicken... I only have the chicken. Oh, they do pork, don't they? It's always chicken for me. It's taking its sweet time to do that, wasn't it? Uh, so we want. Well, these need to go back to Orton Wood Farm, so we'll take them down there. And then we'll grab the rower, the wind rower. I don't know why I took the weight off the front. I didn't need to. Chicken chow mein, it's the best. It's the best. A potato waffle sandwich. I quite like potato waffles actually. They're they're not bad. They they taste a little bit like McDonald's fries, actually. Potato waffles because they're made with flour, just like McDonald's fries are. Surely if it's broken again, farm sim, then it would be a warranty jobby, wouldn't it, bud? I'd be sticking that where somebody where the sun doesn't shine, you know what I mean? If it's only a year old. I'm pretty savage like that though. Usually what I do is I chuck a fiver on the floor and say, hey look at that, and it goes down and then just kick them really hard. <laughs> and then go give me my fiver back you're not keeping it oh, I forgot I had the little wind bro. times are sad never mind keeps us out of it doesn't it I'd be looking I'd be looking for some sort of warranty there from Sim. Definitely.
I just have one big one, Jack. <laughs> I, I actually need to go through a massive sort out. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is setting up one of those pages that I can share in my description so that if you see something in one of my videos you can just go there and it's there and you can download it because um, what what I used to do was I used to fill the description up with the links to all the mods and actually by doing that it doesn't it it actually wrecks your your SEO your search engine optimizing optimization it wrecks it by doing that so I stopped doing it but people always are always on at me about where I get stuff from so I was thinking well if I just put my own folder together where people could go to to download it what I've got apart from the private stuff obviously and things like that but yeah that's uh, that's my plan and then I can I can just fire all my stuff in there use the stuff that I normally use and then um, take it out and put it back in and all that whenever I want it does that make sense I think it makes sense it made sense to me I don't, I don't want any sheep farm sim <laughs> I don't want any sheep I've uh, I've experienced sheep I, I don't need to experience them again I almost became a shepherd actually I almost became a shepherd I'm not a shepherd <laughs> I fix cars but I almost became a shepherd I think that would have been the worst thing I ever did. It was my dad that talked me out of that. Yeah, save the money on it. Yeah, it's 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 really hard to weigh it up, isn't it? The amount of money you're going to put into the sheep, plus all the repairs that you have to do on your fencing. Um, what type of sheep have you got, farm sim? What what breed are they? Suffolks. They're the best ones you could have. They're the best ones you could have. They're they're always gonna maintain their worth. Suffolk Rams are worth lots of money. You could you could try the free roam theory. Um, <laughs> they don't trouble with sheep is they do like to roam. <laughs> they don't they don't like to. Uh, they're just stupid. They're stu stupid animals. <laughs>
Yeah, they'll be in that road. They'll be in that road. Given half the chance, they'll get in there. You, you did, you did hear the word Suffolk. There you go. There's the person that taught me out of becoming a shepherd. <laughs> Not much. To be fair, Nut Hutch, you took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Did it not notify you again? Yeah, the police get a bit snotty about sheep and that on the roads, don't they? I, I don't know why. It's uh, it's nature. They were here first. Look at that, I've got the Streamlabs thing working, I'm quite, I'm quite happy about it. Your rams never got away. I think you're lying. I think you're lying. <laughs> I remember. Was it not the rams that got out on top of Martin's cell? I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, they were the rural crime. We, well, actually, the the rural crime squad. We we've got one here. They they're better than the normal police. Our local our local um, rent a cop um, comes round, and he's he's so enthusiastic about what he's doing. They should, they should actually swap roles. The the main the main copper should swap roles with him. I thought so. <laughs> thought so. I've only got four people in the chat. How sad is that? That's sad times. Where's everybody gone? All disappeared. Nobody likes me. Go to all this effort of putting in Streamlabs so that you can all have a have a game or whatever. Nobody cares. Hey Ebo, how's it going? Yeah, I finally, I think I've finally cracked all of my issues, he says, uh, as it all stops working. No, um, yeah, I think I've got all of my little gremlins sorted out, which is nice. I, oh, I'm glad you care, Craig. <laughs> I 
It's funny how I said that, it went straight up to six, isn't it? That's weird. Busy day. I had a lazy day today. I, I, I was, well, I say I had a, a lazy day. I was very busy doing nothing. How about that? That's the perks of being your own boss. I drank a lot of tea. That's dedication, Farm Sim. You're just dedicated to the cause, that's what it is. <laughs> it's the it's the dreaded thought of having to go out there and seeing that the fence is broken again, isn't it? That's why you don't want to you're dragging it out. Like last night you were dragging it out, not going out there to fix it, dragging it out again. <laughs> No wonder they're breaking them if they wouldn't fence with chicken wire. Chicken wire ain't no good for nothing. want that square stuff, which is sheep fencing, isn't it? <laughs> it's not blurry for me. I'm watching it on my phone and it's not blurry. Nope. So I'm 480, no HD. Just having a look to see what
Okay, fam, Sim, take it easy. Don't work too hard. I was just trying to um, see what the what the deal is with the video. You should have 720 available, but. It's not showing it on mine either. I wonder if uh, I wonder if YouTube is having a funny five minutes. There's nothing I can do about it unless I start the stream again anyway, and I'm not going to do that. Not now. Not whilst I have everything else working. Because <laughs> you can guarantee I'll stop it and everything else will stop working. <clears throat> I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look uh, when I've finished and see what, what, the, uh, what the dealio is. I'm playing it in 4K if it's any any consolation to anyone. It, it looks phenomenal from what, what I'm looking at on my on my monitor. That's all right, not much. I think, I think they both kind of twigged <laughs> to what you were saying. I did. It's, it's not that late, really. It's it's quite early, in all honesty. Especially, you went to bed at 11 o'clock last night, so you, you should be full of it tonight. You should be on it. You can play some mini games if you want. Though there's... Well, there is seven people in chat. There's seven people watching. All of you lurkers, just in case you didn't realise, I will know who you are because I, it tells me on Streamlabs after I finished the stream who was in. So I know that you're there. So just you just as well come along and chat and build up my chat. Play a few games. You all think you're hidden. All the one, all the ones that think they're hidden. Even I, I was amazed actually, because I, I didn't realise Streamlabs did it. But even people who hide their subscriptions, so you don't know who they are, who subscribe to you, Streamlabs will tell you who they are. So nobody can hide from you on through the Streamlabs system. It's awesome. So when people say, "Oh yeah, I've subscribed to you," I can go and check. And guess what? I know whether you're lying or not now. So, na 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 na. And all that jazz. It also tells me how long you were watching the stream for. <laughs> so, don't try it on. <laughs> I 
I see you everywhere. I was going to do Liam Neeson then and I thought I'd better not because uh, it's, not, it's not quite it's not quite appropriate is it for a live stream I I'm pretty sure you haven't got a cloaking device Well, that's good, Joe. <laughs> that's, that's good news. I like it when people sub. It's very important. It's very important because I'm trying to get to that that um, amazing figure that YouTube set out for you, which I think should be half of what it, well, I don't know. Kind of filters out the riff raff, I suppose, and. Thousand subscribers. Yeah, I know, Craig. You subbed me with um, with the other one today. Because Streamlabs told me, but YouTube didn't tell me. So I'm guessing you've got your your subscriptions hidden on that one. Yeah, see. <laughs> I know, I know all about it. Who's doing proper pants streaming? I don't, I don't think I deserve a hundred thousand. I'd be quite happy with just the one thousand. If I had a hundred thousand, then I'd have to talk to a hundred thousand people, and then that becomes really, really hard. <laughs> Jeez, I couldn't imagine doing a stream where you've got you would never have a hundred thousand in a stream but where you've got a heavy amount of people in a stream could you try and imagine keeping up <laughs> I, I, I'm not I used to like Dagoin I used to watch Dagoin religiously um and my boy did, my boy used to love watching him and we both of us at the same time just stopped and a couple of weeks went past and we hadn't watched any of his survival role play or anything like that and I said to my lad who was just turning nine I said do you not want to watch him? And he was like, no, Dad, because it's just got really boring. And I thought, oh, that is not good news for someone who is in predominantly in that area. It's, it's like eight-year-olds up to about... 15, 16 year olds that watch Dagoin and for him to turn round at 8 years old and say that he finds him boring I thought, oof that's not a good sign is it but I haven't I've, I haven't watched I haven't watched any of his stuff fully I've watched bits and pieces but
the trouble with Dagger, the, the, I, I'll tell you one of the problems with Daggerin is that he has tried to maintain peace with modders by using only the legitimate stuff that comes through the mod hub and I say to that <laughs> because they're not actually all that good I I do I I am subscribed to Squirrel Joe. Uh, I used to watch Squirrel a lot, um, but again I just kind of stopped watching him. But yeah, I did watch Squirrel a lot. Uh, I, I actually watched one of his videos the other day on um, he was doing ATS. He was talking about the new beta mod for the multiplayer that they they've just rolled out secretly to test it. And I watched that one. Um, he used to. He used to. Um, what was it? It was a game that he used to play, where it was. It was like. It was like an old Sega game, where it's. You're watching. You're watching from the side of the game, and you're running from side to side and all that. But it was a uh, God. I can't remember what was it called. You basically went round, and, and everything was derelict, and you had to collect all everything that you could find to kind of stay alive, I guess. It was a weird game, but yeah, that's when I first started watching him, and I actually thought that he was a, a radio presenter on a radio station that I used to listen to, because he sounded just like him. Turns out he wasn't there. Never, I've never heard of them, Evil. Peanut? Peanut and Brito, is that? Or was that supposed to say Peanut and Brittle? My boy watches The Squad now. It's like, dude, seriously. And he, who, who's the other one he watches? Um, uh, Komodo Gaming. Who actually I can sit and watch. It's not too bad. It wasn't it wasn't a Sega game, it was a PC game, but it was like the old fashioned Sega games. And River Raid was not a Sega game, it was an Atari game. It was on a the twenty six hundred that we had. The sudden realization. Oh yeah. Oh you remember now. River raid. When you died you had to go back to the beginning. It didn't matter what level you were on, get to level three hundred and sixty two. When you died you went back to the start. That taught that 
that surely it was the best way to teach any kid patience and perseverance I think I could be wrong I don't think I am though. Good to go. I think we are. Sweet. It was a. Oh no, why are we not wrapping? How rude. That must have been a hay that came out of there then. It was, it was soul destroying. You'd get so far and then just die and then it would be like, right, back to the beginning. Do you remember Duck Hunt on the on the Nintendo? Duck Hunt was awesome. I think it was a hay bale, Joe. That's why it didn't wrap. I think I already had a load of hay in there before we started. So I better check, make sure it wasn't going to roll away then. I thought Duck Hunt was a great game. With the little the little orange gun. That was uh, that was the uh, pinnacle of gaming back then. I love Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. I was playing Tomb Raider. I got it for Christmas. I can't remember how old I was. Nuthatch might remember. Um, <clears throat> I got it for Christmas. I played it straight through. The whole of the, I was still at school, so I, mu I must have been in my teens, I guess. And I played it straight through Christmas. I can remember saying... Yep, no night, Dad. See you in the morning. Dad comes downstairs in the morning. Morning, Dad. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm still there playing it. <laughs> Great game. Great game. Christmas was the best. Christmas and consoles was the best. You just used to sit there. We just used to sit. It was a bit like is the oh, well, obviously it is the new version of sitting and playing board games. But with consoles, and, you know, games like that, you just sit there and you keep going at it and going at it and going at it. I've never played Fallout, Joe. I've uh, it's it's not the I've kind of lost touch with those type of games. I used to play a lot of Battlefield, Battlefield 2 with my buddy online. And um, and then, well, basically, uh, we had kids. And it all kind of it all kind of stopped. Didn't really have time for it when we when when we had our little boy. Because uh, I would work during the day. My wife would work during the evening, and then we would go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, different now. It's all different now. Life becomes easier because you stress less, I think.
get to a certain age and you're like, <laughs> not good. Just move on. I think everybody got scared when they found out that I could uh, could see them when they were in the chat and didn't actually talk. And they all disappeared. Because we went back down again. <laughs> GTA at Christmas. GTA at Christmas. Yeah. GTA. What's the other one? Medal of Honor. Two days, I think, took us to do Medal of Honor, didn't it? It was a good game, Medal of Honor, actually. It, it, it was easy, but it was a good game. Call of Duty is still a good game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Medal of Honor... Uh, uh, Medal of Honor was uh, World War II, wasn't it? I love this baler. If I was a farmer, a, a real farmer, I would, I would, I would have one of these for sure. <coughs> I need some drinks. The, the storyline of Medal of Honor was spot on, or I say it was spot on, it was spot on to the story that we know happened. <laughs> um, it probably wasn't how that went at all, but that's what we've been told happened, so that's, we've got to believe it, don't we? Anyway, let's not get, let's not get into that side of it. Who else is streaming tonight? Is there lots of us streaming tonight? I wasn't really sure whether I was going to bother tonight, but I wanted to see whether stuff was going to work, so that's why I'm... Is that the same game that Mr. P was playing, Joe? Mr. P was playing a submarine game. He was, uh, 
Oh no, that was called U-Boat, wasn't it? I think that was called U-Boat. I think. No, I know, I know Bruce does every day. I, I wasn't sure whether the whole world and their army decided to stream at the same time. To be fair though, um, over the weekend and into the tail part of last week, I was in other people's streams and they were only fi having five or six concurrent um, viewers, which I thought was quite shocking really. Um, when you ask them, they tell you that they had 23, but they didn't because I was watching. I just need to stop for a second. Why so roll the woodbine? It's not. It's not really. Oh no, where's that? Was that other? There was another game, um, Command and Conquer. Anybody play Command and Conquer? That was a, that was a, that was a tactical game and a half actually for for a primitive game of what it was really. And there was. Um, the Roman one as well, which was a very similar, similar kind of gameplay to Command and Conquer. Yeah, it was a look down game, so you look down on top of everything. And um, you move your little your little armies into different different spots, and you you, you send in the the artillery and things like that. It got it, it was good until it got a bit silly with uh, with things like what well, it was the the ion cannon, where you would get the satellite to rain down this <laughs> craziness. Yeah. Right, we'll go to the other field then. I would ask how the music is tonight, but I don't, none of you, apart from Joe and Craig, nobody else was in the stream last night. The shaming man was moaning about my music being children's music and uh, I was a bit I was a bit disgusted really <laughs> you can't hear the music well that's not very good is it can nobody hear the music? Really?
That's annoying. that? Can you hear it now? Good. That was annoying. See, I've done all that. We've, I don't know how long I've been An hour and 14 minutes. Nobody even knew that I was playing music. How about that? I've been listening to it. It's great. <laughs> I'm having a little party here all on my own. Is it loud enough or would you like it louder than that? Why isn't that oh, I'm gonna put it down? I can't play the beach boys, I'll get a copyright strike for that. Sorry. <laughs> Not that I would play the Beach Boys anyway. If it's if it's too loud, if you want the music off, I'll turn the music off. I, I don't mind. I, I just I'm trying different. I'm trying to do stuff that is different from everybody else to make me stand out. Apart from being the most honest person on YouTube. There's no bells and whistles with me. And welcome back, Patton. It was about time you came back. I was getting a bit worried, actually. Trade in gaming. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? Did you have a wonderful weekend? And did you have an awful Monday like pretty much everybody else has? <laughs> uh, I probably won't be Craig um, because uh, tomorrow night I have to record my Millennial Farmer episode. So I won't, I won't have time to stream. This, this was actually tonight is really just a one-off. It's gonna, I'm gonna try and stick to Saturday nights. The reason I did it last night was because the internet went down, which completely screwed me Saturday night. So I streamed Sunday night, and tonight I wanted to stream because I wanted to get all the Streamlabs stuff working and it's just been really peeing me off because it's not been working and I couldn't work out why and today I worked it out so if you wanted to do a heist or play a game you can you can do that if you know how to do it you can do all that you've all got points you're all getting points so couldn't tell you how many points you've got because I'm not on I've not got that window open. But you can do magic eight ball, so you can do exclamation mark eight ball and then ask it a question in the same and it will give you an answer. Exclamation eight and the word ball all in one word and then the question. Apparently, Magic 8 Ball is sleeping with your other half. Sorry. 
<laughs> yeah, you're gonna get answers like that. The tractor pole. Uh, so the tractor pole is going to be for, we're going to have guest tractors every week. That is my plan. Uh, I'm, I will put it up when we're getting closer to ending the stream, which will, I'll probably put it up at midnight UK time, actually. So it'll be a couple of minutes and I'll put it up. But basically you can vote for one of the whatever tractor I've chosen so I think <laughs> I think I've uh, what have I got I've got McCormick Ford or Alice Chalmers uh, as our first ones that we can vote for and then you just vote for it how many votes it gets and then we'll have a guest tractor in the next stream of whatever it is that we want I'll see if I can do that now, actually. I have to activate that myself. There you go. If that doesn't make sense, just ask and I'll, I'll try and explain. I'll try and explain it a bit better. Oh, that's it. Got rid of me thing. Here we go. Oh, there we go. We're going forward, are we? <laughs> Well, you haven't got the choice of case, and seen as how this is predominantly a case farm. You have the choice of the predecessor to case if that helps that much MC which is McCormick I often listen to a piece of music and think to myself, God, I wish I'd written that riff. I do play the guitar. I 
play a six string and I also play a four string, which isn't really a guitar, it's a bass. It's a cello if you turn it on, you know, if you turn it upright, it's a cello, turn it on the side, it's a bass. Slap it the death metal band. Awesome. Awesome. I was in um, I was in several hardcore bands, uh, and I was in a post-hardcore band, which is how can you explain that? It's kind of uh, kind of pop punky ish, um, and I was in a band that. This singer thought that he was Axl Rose. Good band, great musicians. We were great, you know. Everyone in that band was really good. But the singer just really thought that he was Axl Rose. He dressed like Axl Rose. He tried to sing like Axl Rose. And yeah, he had the same ego as Axl Rose. So that kind of <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it wasn't great. It wasn't grand, let's say. Right, so we should take this back. We'll get the bail cart. Oh, there's a bail down there. That is rude. Goodness me, they're rolling all over the place. Wow, that's going to be fun getting that one. I know exactly how I'm going to get it. But... I've got an I've got an auto load trailer crate. Um, I will I will actually be changing it out I suspect um, for something else because I got some I got a load of mods sent to me from Elite Farming he sent me a ton of mods today which I need to go through and have a look at them all and one of them that I saw in there was a Bailey bail cart. And I thought, yeah. Oh, have that. It's a little unnerving actually. Do this lot first, I think. That hay one will keep. Yeah, you, you send, send me anything you want. Anything you want. I don't... I will... I will mess around with uh, whatever's, whatever's out there. The 
tractors, the, uh, the case will stay. Uh, and then we'll have our guest tractor every week. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the the machinery, the trailers, and stuff like that. We'll we'll change them out. So if people have things that they they wanna they wanna see in a different episode, just drop it in the comments after the video or during the video, um, and just let me know what your your recommendations are, and I will uh, try to accommodate. Yeah, I do want a Marshall. Were you not listening yesterday? <laughs> is it is it a is it a proper Marshall? <laughs> that Jack Swift. Um, I don't know if you know Jack Swift. He's the one that. I'm pretty sure he's the one that did the JCB that we're using in this one. Well, two-wheel drive will do, if that's all we've got. <laughs> uh, but that Jack Swift, he, he really peed me off. Because um, on, on his Facebook page, he said, if anybody wants anything, let me know. So I sent him a message, I said, look dude, uh, I'm looking for, I was looking for four things in particular. I wanted one of those marshals. I wanted the Bateman sprayer. Um, I wanted uh, an, a conventional 8 bale grab and a conventional 8 bale sled that puts them into eights and he messaged me back and he said oh can you send me pictures so I sent him pictures of what it all was and I said I'm more than I was more than happy to pay for him to make them and um, he was like yeah 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 I can do them I can do them yeah 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 I said cool what, let me know what you want and we'll, we'll sort it out and then the very next day, he turned around and said to me, I'm not making any of that stuff because it's all rubbish. And I was like, do you know what, mate? You just annoyed the wrong person. <laughs> Nobody saw what I'm doing. No, I definitely didn't do that. That one over there, we can get. I'd like you to get in the track, please. There we go. That was a bit weird. No, nothing to see. It, it was, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, evil. The, nothing actually happened. That's not going to be easy, is it? Or is it? going to go on there anyway is it full that just saves me having to embarrass myself uh, not long Jack I'm gonna take this back I'm gonna take this to um, the BGA and then bring everything back and then I probably call it a stream I expect I may do a contract, uh, a fertilizer contract, because we've got loads. Look at that lovely plowed field. Look at the rape coming through as well. I might have a look and see how much that field's worth. There's, there's plenty of conventional balers. It's just getting um, the sled that collects them. Now I know the um, the Galanini one that came out had a sled type thing 
but I want I really wanted the one that drags on the floor it's not it's not a big deal you know it's not the most important thing in the world I just wanted it for for more realism than, than anything uh, and an 8 bell grab a conventional 8 bell grab because what's the point in having the 8 bell mods and not having the grab to pick them up but I do I do have um, the guy I can't remember his uh, his name now but the guy who fixed the McCormick for me that I use in um, the uh, Newbrook series is going to try and sort one of the already existing bail grabs, flat bail grabs out so that it will pick up eight bales of the convent eight of the conventional bales. Um, see if we can get it to work. But there's no guarantee. But it would be good if we could, because then you could just use that that Gallinini one. And we would be good. The last time I did this, it all went horribly wrong. So, it will probably go horribly wrong again. That's not going to work. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to let it have the satisfaction of making me look like a fool. Go and get the loader. Ooh. Yeah, the get the the Gallinani one is an excellent mod, um, but like you say, yeah, I I too much prefer to have a British style one. It's just the way I am. It's what, it's what my dad had. It's one of those, um, one of those drags on the floor. No, no sledge. The most of the conventional balers that are in, that have been made, are really, really good. Uh, there is one of the one of the new Hollands is a bit dodgy on its pickup. You have to you have to really be precise getting it to pick it up to pick up the swaths. But other than that, everything else on it works fine. Oh, the pole has finished. The pole has finished. I will have to check in a minute. I'm quite confident that all I saw going on the boat was Ford. I don't think I've seen the one that's been put on Mod Hub lately. How long ago was it put on there, Craig? Is it really recent?
well, uh, yeah, I have seen the Welder one. Have you seen the Lely one? I've not used it yet. I downloaded it to do the Agco um, series. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, Jesus, that looks really good. But I've not used it yet. Look, if that isn't the stupidest place for the for that to spawn. Yeah, I've seen the pack. I might actually install that. Um, it is a stupid place for it to spawn, though, isn't it? Especially after I put me jet wash there. Seventy six ten with the Q cap. I've um the Ford that I have if if the pole has gone to Ford, then the Ford that I have in mind is not a seventy six ten. So gearbox mod. Uh, I thought it had the gearbox gearbox mod built into it, Craig. It's a seven eight four. I'm sure it had the gearbox mod built into it. You just had to install the other mod that goes with it, didn't? You? Thank you. Now is it on the Ford or is it on the new Holland version? Oh, I have to have a look. I have to have a look at the one that I've got. I thought it had it in there. Do you want do you want it so that you can actually change gear yourself, Craig? Or do you just want it so that it sounds like it's changing gear? Oh, is the one we've got out an SLE and, and you want the SL? Is that right? I don't know then, mate. I don't know. Where did that fall off? Stupid marshmallow. I don't know how a lot of stuff hasn't been made. I, honestly, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what these what goes through the minds of some of these modders. I 
That's a nasty bit of chuggy music going on there, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're we going in. We're into the massive breakdown now. See if you can hit the floor with your head. That's that's what you got to do now. Yeah. Oh, and then it picks it up with a little tappity slow solo on the top of it. See what's going on here because it seems that it's being a bit stupid. And he's a ferment first, isn't it? <laughs> Dick. No, I mean, well, we'll put that in there tomorrow. <laughs> or in the, in the next stream, we'll put that in there. Gives us something to start off the next stream with, doesn't it? Trying to think to yourself, oh, what am I going to do with this one? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to chuck that in there. I, I don't know what I'm doing either, Craig. It's quite evident, really. <laughs> it's because I get carried away. I get carried away with what I'm doing, and I'm like, yeah, we'll get that done, we'll get this done, we'll get that done. I don't think about all the other stuff. Nice to see the circuses back in town. I suppose they're going to nick, go around nicking all the generators and stuff from people's gardens and stuff like that. I think we'll have a look at this, see how much this brake field is, see if we can steal it from them, which we can't, because it'll just be a fixed price, but they should have that. You should be able to make an offer on the field, so they've got the set price, but like, say for instance, if the field didn't have anything in it, you can put an offer in at a lower price, and it might get accepted, that would be a good thing to have in the game. Because let's face it, I'm not going to pay full price for a field that hasn't got any crop in. But I would pay a bit more for it if it had a really, a really good looking field of... I can't say the other word now, can I? Because it's... Internet, YouTube filtering. Canola, OSR. You can't say the R bit of OSR. Has anybody heard about that? They're, they're shutting people's videos down and stuff for saying that word. <coughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, 93. 67,000. Well, to be fair, after we've sold. We might not sell it in time though for it to get the harvest off, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll buy that one. Fancy these ones here though, just to. Well, not that one, it's pretty small, isn't it? We'll think about it, we'll see how, how it plays out. see what the pole did and then uh, I'm going to have a 
cup of tea, that's what I'm going to do. Got mouth like Gandhi's flip flop. Music has stopped. Nope, it's come back. Showing up. Down on the farm will be coming back um, very soon. I have to go back through chat and tally up. voted for the Ford. Why hasn't it worked on the poll then? I wonder what's happened there. I've just refreshed it and it's still not showing anything. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I was talking to Jack. Harley Quinn has popped in as well. Hello Harley Quinn. Yeah, I, I just checked, Craig. They're all Ford, so we'll go with Ford. I don't know why it's, it's not registered. It might uh, it might show me after I shut the stream down, which would be a bit weird because obviously everybody would want to know the result for it, wouldn't they? But I don't know. Um, <laughs> everyone's got sense. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing wrong with a McCall, man. Or an Alistair, to be fair. Got some pretty cool mods that I think you would like to see, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, we'll have a guest tractor. It looks like it's going to be a Ford. We've got the we'll sell the milk in the next one. Oh, we've had a pretty good day. We've got all that silage done. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, down on the farm. <laughs> um, so yes, down on the farm. Uh, I had to stop doing it because uh, I needed. Well, I needed a break for one, uh, but I also had a lot of things to sort out. So I, I had a new PC. I had to change everything over to the PC. There was lots of stuff that I wanted to get going. I had two new series two new let's play series that I wanted to start which I've started now and we've got them rolling out and I wanted to start live streaming again so now that I've got the live stream sorted and I think I've pretty much got everything working the way I want it to with all the little bits and pieces that I wanted to add it in uh, I can now concentrate on down on the farm again so it will be out um, in the next couple of weeks will be the next episode. I, I did commit a couple of weeks ago to when it was going to come out and I've, I'm not going to get it done for then. So I'm just going to say it's going to be out in the, in the next couple of weeks. 
but then unfortunately you're going to have a break again from it because I am doing harvest throughout August and there is no chance that I am going to be able to get um, how, what, what have I got to do? I've got to do two episodes of Let's Plays a week plus down the farm. I'm never going to get them all pre-recorded so you're just going to have to put up with uh, Let's Plays for four weeks, four or five weeks so yeah, there we go if you haven't Please subscribe, hit the like button and all that jazz, because I've got, I need to get a thousand subscribers so that I can run the community chat thing on YouTube, <clears throat> and I've got lots of ideas for what I want to do with it, but yeah. Yeah, well, fortunately, I get to do fair weather farming, as it's called. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to get involved in all that horrible stuff. But yeah. That didn't work, did it? What I meant to do. Why did I put an I? Because I'm stupid. <coughs> so that is it for today. Uh, I think we've done well. I think we did well. I, I know why it's banned evil um, because of censorship on a specific word that's why it's banned but yes um, <laughs> yeah uh, yeah we're done thanks for watching everybody I will see you next Saturday next Saturday I will see you this coming Saturday evening afternoon depending on where you are thank you all for stopping in um, I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll try and sort out the quality of the video a bit better next time. Uh, and see what's going on there. Um, so thanks for watching. Stay safe. Uh, and may the weather be ever in your favour. Bit of Hunger Games with that one, I think. <laughs>